In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a gluten-free Oreo trifle. Hey guys, my name is Erin Courtney, and it's hard to believe, but 10 years ago, I made a video of how to make an Oreo trifle. A few things have changed since then. If you know my story, you'll know that I had to go gluten-free in 2017 after being diagnosed with three different digestive orders on top of an autoimmune disease. And even though I'm not 100% gluten-free all the time, I cut back in every which way possible that I can. So after I made the original Oreo trifle, I decided that we needed to make a gluten-free version of it. And the new gluten-free Oreo trifle is in my newest cookbook, Chef Aaron's gluten-free cookbook that has over 500 recipes in it that are all gluten-free and you would never know it. This book is available on Amazon in hardcover, paperback, and Kindle version. I'll post the link below if you wanna take a look at it. So let's get started. We're gonna take two small packages of instant chocolate jello pudding mix. Very important here to make sure whatever instant pudding mix you use is gluten free. So I am using the jello brand of chocolate pudding mix, which is gluten free. Add your milk and whisk that together really well just to get rid of all of the powdered clumps. You don't want any powdered clumps. And then set that aside for five minutes in the refrigerator. The brownies have already been made, set aside, and cooled. This is the brand that I like to use, but you can use whichever gluten-free brownie mix you'd like. The original recipe actually calls for one box of brownie mix, but I ended up doubling it because I like a thicker brownie la layer. So if you like a slightly thinner brownie layer, you can use just one box, or you can double the batch and then cut off all the crispy, crunchy edges around the brownies. The next layer is our pudding layer. So we're going to scoop half of our pudding mixture out of the bowl and on top of the brownies. Moving on to our Oreo layer, I just have one package of gluten-free Oreos. And from here, I'm going to dip them into milk. This softens the Oreos and then break them up and put them on top of that pudding layer. Last but not least is our thawed frozen whipped topping. Take half of that and put it on top of the Oreo layer. From here, we're just gonna repeat the layering with the brownies, the pudding, the Oreos dipped in milk, and the whipped topping. I did save one Oreo as a garnish, so we'll sprinkle that on top at the very end. Making the double brownie batch definitely fills this trifle bowl up to the rim. But like I said, next time I do this, I will double the brownies, but I will trim off the edges because personally, I just don't like a lot of really crunchy brownies. But if you like crunchy, crispy brownies, leave those edges on there. Whatever floats your boat. You do you, boo. Trifles really are great for potlucks for multiple reasons. They're not only easy to make and delicious, but you don't have to be a master decorator to put one together and make it look pretty. Now we're gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it set for a couple hours until we are ready to devour it. Well, that's it. You see how easy that was? I'm not gonna eat it right now because I'm actually taking it over to my brother's house because we're all getting together. And when I went back and watched the original video, I was taking it to my brother's house, but he was on a diet at the time and I didn't know if he was gonna eat it or not. He was on a diet this time too, and he still ate it. So that's good, I think. This recipe is great any time of the year, but during the holidays, during the fall, and with everything coming up, it is the perfect addition to take to any family gathering. When we got to my brother's house, my sister-in-law had set up a nice little buffet for us. Chicken and dumplings, a hot chocolate bar, appetizers, all kinds of sweet stuff. And don't forget about alcohol to put in your hot chocolate if you need to. Genius. You know it's kid-friendly whenever kids and teenagers are more than happy to eat it. They are roasting marshmallows over the fire while I am getting ready to dig in to my hefty serving of the Oreo trifle. Our family has been waiting all year for them to finish up on their new setup with the fire pit. And we are getting ready to watch a movie outdoors. Hello, fall. So I hope you enjoy this as much as my family does. That wraps it up for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.